All right, guys, this is the track guide and hot lap for Silverstone National. So if you want to watch the hot lap, then to the end of the video. But now let's get into the track guide. All right, coming up to cops, uh, stay on this little red and white curb. And to keep it in fifth gear, uh, not worth shifting down to fourth gear. Don't be afraid of uh, getting on the grass a little bit on the inside. Better off uh, cut it, turning in too early than turning in too late because uh, you really don't want to go wide. Touching that black stuff on the exit will just slow you down uh, a lot. Try and carry as much speed as you can to this corner. Really easy to mess up, very difficult to get it right every time and uh, you probably won't. <laughs> so coming up to maggots. Uh, you want to get up on this little curb on the left and braking just before it ends. And it's a very difficult corner to get right. Uh, very important that you don't go too deep. Same thing as cops. Uh, there's some grey stuff on the outside and if you hit that, it um, just slows you down completely. If you remember, like at Hockenheim, uh, it's a bit like that. Where uh, it just slows down the car for some reason, unnaturally. But clip that little uh, red curb right next to it, ideally. And just carry as much speed as you can through there. Now coming up to Brooklyn's, uh, this little left-hand turn marker on the right. Uh, get up onto that curb and braking just as you get to it, really. And uh, don't go hard on the brakes because you want to turn at the same time. So just lightly on the brakes and just try and get the car to rotate and uh, ready for left field. You don't want to enter left field too tight, so don't carry too much speed through Brooklyn's and just enter on the inside because... Uh, it's going to be very hard to try and get the exit speed on left field and uh, it's very important that you set yourself up nicely for left field. So on the entry just leave a little bit of space between you and the curb and uh, just sort of maintain that throughout because it's a long bend and just feel the rotation on the throttle. Um, obviously you don't throttle too much because you'll just understeer but uh, just dab it a little bit and um, yeah, just be patient through left field. You can run it all the way out wide and then if you're on a hot lap on the main straight, just keep it to the right and you'll save maybe 0 0.01 but um, yeah that's a lap of Silverstone National. And for overtaking on this track, uh, turn one, cops, you can go around the outside as long as you're able to carry more speed than the person on the inside then you should be able to get past before the next corner but ideally you'd want the inside because then you'd have the inside for the next corner as well. It's a lot easier if you're on the inside. You'll only really be able to get past someone on the outside if you're just much faster than them. And coming up to Brooklyn's, you can pick up a nice slipstream on the Wellington Strait, nice and long, and uh, you can easily get past, though it is quite difficult to get past around the outside on this corner. And again, it's only really possible if you're much faster. Uh, you're going to have to try and dive deep and claim that space uh, on the inside for left field, but ideally, you're able to slipstream to the inside and uh, it's, it's going to be a lot easier for you. It's really difficult for people to try and hang around the outside. You can just go much deeper and uh, just claim that space before anyone else can get there. And this isn't really to help with overtaking, but um, I just see a lot of people messing up Brooklyn's. They turn in too early and then they have to turn back out and it, you know, you just lose a lot of time and uh, it just makes you really open. So I'm sure it's just like a track knowledge issue, but um, obviously you want your turn in to just be one big motion. But uh, I just see a lot of people doing this for some reason. And for left field, you can use this to set up an overtake on cops. Uh, just go a bit wider, and if people stay tight, then you'll get a very good exit compared to them. And you'll still have the benefit of the slipstream. So you should build up a bit of a speed advantage, and you should be able to get alongside for cops. Alright, that's all for the track guide, and I'll get into the setup now. Alright, this is my setup. Um, if you want to download it in the description, it's much simpler. Just click the AC stuff link and it should automatically go to your generic setups. Tire pressures, these are quite good really. Um, yeah, you shouldn't have to change them at all on your side. They felt quite good on pretty much any temperatures. And for the fuel, use 10 for quality and 19 for the race. And always have TC off and ABS on. And then feel free to pause the video and just copy anything I have down if you're doing it the old fashioned way and you're pausing it. And before we get into the hot lap, I just want to say thank you to all of the channel members. Um, it means a lot and gives me some more motivation. Uh, unforgivable, this, this is coming out on a Wednesday. But uh, yeah, let's get into the hot lap.
right, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.